Members of Adelaide's Chinese community, backed by unions and the Labor opposition, have rallied against what they've described as endemic wage theft in local businesses. It follows days of outrage stemming from a viral video showing a woman's alleged assault in a dispute over unpaid wages. Sarah Tomevska reports. What is slavery? No. Legal pay? Yes. Violence? No. Wage theft? No. Dozens of protesters gathered in the heart of Adelaide's Chinatown to demand justice for workers being paid less than minimum wage. Wage theft is a more than slavery. And it's also a form of discrimination against the vulnerable minority groups in society. The protest comes a week after this video went viral, sparking public outcry. It shows a 20-year-old Chinese exchange student slapped and kicked in an alleged dispute over wage theft at this Guja Street tea shop. A 39-year-old man was later charged. Fun Tea has denied the pay claims and the Fair Work Ombudsman is investigating. But many in this crowd say wage theft is widespread. I asked the boss to, um, to raise my wage, but my boss, uh, he refused that. $10 for our work, that way is pretty common when you work in Asian, Asian supermarkets. Workers' rights advocate Jackie Chen says many migrant workers are silenced by fear or a lack of local knowledge. They have no idea what's the minimum wage. They have no idea who should I have going to looking for help. Most of them not fluent in English. Protesters say this rally is a call to workers to stand up for their rights and to organisations like the government and universities to educate workers about what those rights are. The government says help is available. Any concerns that anybody has in relation to particular cases, uh, they need to take those to the independent regulators. A chorus of voices that refuse to be silenced any longer. Sarah Tanevska, ABC News, Adelaide.